You may have thought that helicopters have reached the peak of performance, stealth, or technological advancement, but what if I told you they're about to take it up a notch? One of the most advanced helicopters from Sikorsky is the S-97 Raider. It's a tactical helicopter capable of carrying six troops and external weapons that redefine helicopter flight. This helicopter was developed with the ability of X-2 technology, which claims to offer safer high-speed flight with increased efficiency and safety. Due to this, the S-97 Raider is capable of reaching speeds over 220 knots, nearly double the speed of a conventional helicopter. In addition to offering high-speed flights, the X-2 technology can also support other missions such as combat, search and rescue, and special operations. Its design includes rigid coaxial main rotors, a pusher propeller, fly-by-wire control, and dynamic anti-vibration actuators to cancel out shaking. It features twin, four-blade, contra-rotating main rotors and a rear pusher propeller, but what makes it even more unique is its ability to turn its rear propeller on and off for whisper mode allowing it to sneak up on targets. It's said that the Raider will be offered to the U.S. Armed Forces and it could be equipped with several weapons, such as Hellfire missiles, 50mm caliber rifles, 7.62mm rifles. It can also be armed with external weapons equipped with various sensors to support surveillance missions and light attacks. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey helicopter is one of the most iconic tilt-rotor military helicopters in the world. Due to its hybrid design, which combines the features of a helicopter and a turboprop airplane, the helicopter can take off and land vertically. Once airborne, its two wingtip nacellas, each carrying an engine and a rotor, pivot 90 degrees to reach high-speed, fuel-efficient horizontal flight. One of the most amazing features of the V-22 is the foldable wings, which enable the helicopter to operate from ships and various airfields. It was developed in the 1980s and 1990s, and its main goal was to carry out a variety of missions, including the transportation of troops and search and rescue, amongst many others. It's fitted with two Rolls-Royce engines, giving the helicopter a top speed of 316 miles per hour and a range of 1,012 miles. It also has triple redundant fly-by-wire control systems that have computerized damage control to isolate damaged areas automatically. Since the V-22 has been mainly used for military operations and has been deployed to many U.S. armed forces, it can be armed with various weapons. It can be fitted with an M2 machine gun on the rear loading ramp and a GAU-19 three-barrel Gatling gun mounted below the nose. Although the Comanche helicopter program was canceled in 2004, it still serves as an example of what could have been. This helicopter may be old, but when it was invented, it was one of the best ones out there. The Boeing Sikorsky helicopter was designed for the U.S. Army as a stealth reconnaissance and attack helicopter. Designed to replace the Army's then-current Vietnam attack helicopter fleet, the Comanche featured an all-composite fuselage and advanced navigation and weapons systems. It was smaller and lighter than the AH-64 Apache, and it was powered by a pair of T-800 turboshaft engines, each capable of generating 1,563 horsepower, which further gave the helicopter a top speed of 201 miles per hour with a range of 302 miles. It was designed to fit onto transport ships, enabling it to rapidly deploy to flashpoints. In addition, the Comanche was equipped with sophisticated avionics, such as navigation and detection systems, making it perfect for operations at night and in bad weather. Its primary mission was to locate and detect targets for attack helicopters. However, the Comanche program was shut down and we never got to see its full potential. Let us tell you about the civilian version of the military Osprey helicopter. It's the AW609, but unlike the Osprey, this helicopter has a pressurized luxury cabin for flights up to 25,000 feet. It's a high-performance tilt-rotor aircraft with two rotatable nacellas and six-bladed adjustable propellers. Its unique design allows it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, combined with the agility of a rotorcraft. It's powered by two Pratt & Whitney PT-6C turboshaft engines and incorporates a state-of-the-art flight control system, which includes fly-by-wire capabilities, enhanced accuracy, and safety for pilots. What makes it stand out from the rest in its class is the spacious cabin that can accommodate up to nine passengers. It delivers unparalleled performance and reliability. The interior is designed to offer a flying experience like you've never seen before, with amenities similar to those found on private jets. Due to its powerful engines, the helicopter can reach a top speed of 316 miles per hour and has a range of 863 miles. Since the helicopter was first introduced, it's been setting aviation records. 
It's been tested to fly across the Atlantic in under eight hours and has made long-distance travel twice as fast as other helicopters in its class. When you combine all of this, it's clear that the AW609 is setting new aviation standards and completely transforms the way we see helicopter travel. The V-280 Valor is an aircraft that was officially revealed in 2013 and made its first flight in 2017. What made this helicopter so special is that just last year it was chosen by the U.S. Army as the winner in the future long-range assault aircraft program to replace the aging Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. The V-280 tilt rotor is a next-generation VTOL designed specifically for military applications. It has tilt rotor technology, meaning it can take off or land vertically and hover. It has a top speed of around 280 knots and a combat range of up to 800 nautical miles, depending on the mission requirements. It's also equipped with fly-by-wire flight controls, advanced sensors, an integrated mission system, and a digital backbone that enables enhanced situational awareness, communication, and mission execution. It's set to replace the Black Hawk, and the U.S. Army is confident that the Valor will eventually replace approximately 2,000 Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk utility helicopters and 1,200 Boeing AH-64 Apache attack helicopters by 2030, if everything goes according to plan. Seeing the potential of the V-280, it's a modern replacement for the aging helicopters in the U.S. Army. While Sikorsky built an attack helicopter, Ehang had a different idea. They wanted to create a helicopter that would improve urban air mobility and make it a drone-like helicopter. The idea isn't too far out as many companies have made such autonomous aerial vehicles, but the Ehang 216 stands out from the crowd. It's an intelligent and ecological autonomous vehicle that offers a low-altitude short and medium-haul transportation solution that can be easily integrated with future sustainability or urban traffic. Based on the Ehang 184, the 216 has eight arms instead of four, allowing the vehicle to seat two passengers. The 216 has been in the making for a few years, making its first public appearance in 2018 when it undertook a series of unmanned and manned demonstration flights. That's right, this vehicle can be flown with or without a pilot, and so far it's the leader in the eVTOL field. It's already entered production, and many buyers are waiting in line to get their hands on the 216. Since it's an all-electric aerial vehicle, it takes about three hours to be fully charged, and once charged, it can travel a total distance of 18.6 miles at a top speed of 80.7 miles per hour. Also, due to its ability to vertically take off and land, the need for an airport or a large runway isn't required. It's the best choice for urban air mobility, serving as an effective way to relieve the current traffic congestion pressures. The Airbus Racer, or the rapid and cost-effective rotorcraft, is a compound helicopter that was revealed in 2017. Over the past few years, the Racer Demonstrator has been developed as a high-speed helicopter aiming to achieve optimal speed, cost efficiency, and performance for missions like search and rescue and emergency medical transportation. This helicopter has the capability to combine payload capacity, agility in vertical flights, long range and low fuel consumption, and emissions. The helicopter is optimized for a cruise over 216 knots, which is 50% faster than a conventional helicopter. And it's said to consume 15% less fuel per distance at 180 knots. It features pusher propellers that generate thrust and are isolated from the passengers during ground operations. It's driven by two engines, one capable of shutting down and restarting once in flight to save fuel and increase range. The unique wings allow the helicopter to enhance its performance by providing additional vertical lift and can fly further and faster than other helicopters. It's one of the most exciting projects Airbus has going at the moment, and so far, the racer is still undergoing numerous flight tests to ensure its reliability and safety. Bye for now.